Gregorian chant is a very ancient way of sung prayer. Gregorian chant is one of the earliest forms of expression that we have written. There's a lot of mystery about the origin of the name Gregorian being attached to this body of music. Typically, most people associate that with Pope Gregory I, Gregory the Great, as the originator of this movement of creating chants for the Roman liturgy. And in fact, it's very unlikely that he had any direct involvement in the creation of this music. However, Pope Gregory, when he came to power as the Pope at the end of the 6th century and the beginning of the 7th century, Rome was really in terrible condition as a city. It was under siege. There were a lot of military campaigns uh, that were threatening Rome. The plague was running rampant at the time, also in the city when he became Pope. And so Pope Gregory was a building Pope, and as he sort of reordered the city after this period of distress, a lot of that had to do with reordering the liturgy and reestablishing liturgical practice in an orderly way. And so his role in the liturgy was very, very strong at the beginning of the 7th century. The music itself really began to develop a couple of generations after Pope Gregory. And in fact, many historians think that it's Pope Gregory II, who reigned about 100 years later, was the Pope Gregory who actually had more of a hand in formulating this body of chants that we call Gregorian chant. Other types of music have a consistent beat and a regular pattern that's expected. Gregorian chant is very mysterious and it takes you in different directions even when you least expect it. Sort of the most exquisite examples of melody. There's only tune. There's no harmony. There's no accompaniment. And so its actual shape are these beautiful curving melodies that we've come to know as that Gregorian style, that prayerful style of singing. And the fact that it is somewhat elaborate and somewhat involved melodically, that's where the beauty lies. That's why it is so moving. Its character is such that it really is pure melody, unlike any other body of melody in the entire world. So it has the sense of soaring up to the sky, soaring up to heaven, which is perfect for the theology of sacred music. It's sending the human heart right up to God. Uh...